Hello everyone. So today we are going to see variable in the PL SQL. So first step is what you have to do. First we have to declare the value. So how can we declare the variable? So what is the syntax of word? Declare variable name and data type and with the size. For example, declare the variable name is A and the data type is number. The variable number is B and data type is worker 2. Next step is assigning and storing a value into a variable. So how can we do that? For that we have to use the syntax variable name colon equals to value. So make sure that for assigning the value to the variable we use what colon equals to in the PL SQL. So for that if I want to assign 100 values to a variable then how can we use a colon equals to 100. If I want to assign sam to the variable b then we can use b colon equals to sam. So here colon equals to is what assignment operator in a PL SQL and only equals to is what comparison operated in a PL SQL. Now step 3 is how can we print the variable values. So for that the syntax is dbms underscore output dot print line put line and the variable name or also we can print the user defined message. So let us see the first program to print the welcome to PL SQL statement. So here I am using what SQL plus prompt. You can also use SQL developer or SQL plus prompt. So first program we will see is to print welcome to PL SQL. So we have seen the three block right. First one is what declaration, second one is execution and third one is what exception. So now what we have to do we have to print only what welcome to PLC goal. So I will write here execution block begin. So for printing dbms underscore output dot put underscore line welcome to PLC goal. Close this and for uh, closing the execution block end and execute this. So PL SQL procedure successfully completed, but we are not getting the what this message. Welcome to PL SQL. So in this, in this we have the one property that is server output. So for printing the PL SQL program output, we have to set that property as what on. So how can we set that? Set server output on now let me execute this slash and here we go welcome to PL SQL is coming so for printing the PL SQL output we have to set this property on what is the property server output on so let me off this property off if you off this and I want to execute the over and here we can see the message is not coming welcome to PL SQL so for that for the output of PL SQL program, we have to set server output as on and by default it is off. So let me on this, we can do on and let me execute and here we go, welcome to PL SQL. So this is our first for example that is to print the welcome to PL SQL and note here that the above program, the above program will not display the output of PL SQL program if the Oracle server want to display output of PL SQL program then we must use following syntax and what is the syntax set server output off or on so off means output is not display and on means what output is display so next we will see how to print a variable values so let us go here let me clean this CLSR now we will deal with the word variable so for declaring variable we have to use what declaration blocks so declare declare is coming a and I want to take as a data type as number the variable first is done then b i want here number with the 10 this is done now we have to see execution block so for that begin now i want to assign what values so how can we assign a colon equals to 10 and i want to assign b b colon equals to 20 so 10 and 20 are stored in the variable what a and b now i want we want to what display the value so dbms underscore output dot put underscore line 
and in this a concat comma concat b and end of the execution block and for execution slash and here we go 10 and 20 is printing now here what is happening we are assigning the value at initial age but i want to take a value as dynamic that means at runtime i want to provide this values so how can we do that let us see the example so first is declare declaration a with the data types number size 10 b data type number size 10 now execution block begin now here we want to take a values from user so a colon equals we have to use what ampersand a that means it will collect a value at a runtime next one is b colon ampersand b b colon equals to ampersand b this is done now we want to print that values so dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and uh, we want to print that so a concat b and a no end of the execution block now let us execute this so it is asking for what enter the value of a i want to take here 10 and we want to take here enter the value of b 20 so in this way we can take a values dynamically at the run time so for that we have to use this ampersand right a value we have given b value we have given and 10 and 20 is printing now this is what these are what old phi a old new so these are the bind variables we will see further but this if we don't want this bind variable so how can we do that so for that we have to set set very verify off so by default it is on that's for we are getting this so if we take here set verify off execute this and let me execute our above program so slash enter the value of a as 10 now here you can see the bind variables are not coming because we have set here set verify off now if we want to take b then 20 and here we go we are getting what's 10 and 20 so this is the way we can declare the variable we can take a dynamic values from the variable we can print the variable so these are the example we have seen so to print a variable we have seen this so we can see the sum let us execute this program for the sum go to sql and you paste so declare what x as a number y as a number and z as a number this is done now this is what execution block in the execution block x we we want to take a values at dynamically at a runtime so for that ampersand is using then y colon equals to then z is a sum so for that assigning the sum of this z colon equals to x plus y and at the end we are printing what dbms underscore output dot put underscore line we are printing z and end so execute this so give the value of x if we take 10 and 20 and here we can see the value the sum of 10 and 20 is 30 so in this way we can write a program to add the two numbers in the plc world so if you want to execute again i want to take x value as 100 we want 200 and what's happening here numeric value here oh we have taken the what big numbers but the size is only two so let us take the small values and if we take 23 and 23 and here we go 23 and 23 what 46 so this is the way we can add the two numbers and make sure that so verify on if we want that bind variable if you don't want that bind variable we have to set as off set verify on or off so this is the way we can what use the variables